Starting our countdown at number 10 is the quaint town of Coral Bay. Beneath its idyllic surface, Coral Bay harbors tales of ancient curses whispered among locals. The legend speaks of a settler who betrayed a native chief, leading to a curse that some say causes unexplainable misfortunes to this day. Moving to number 9 we find ourselves in Frederickstead. By day it's a picturesque port. By night a different story unfolds. The town is reputedly haunted by the ghosts of colonial soldiers, with numerous reports of spectral figures marching silently along the old fort walls. At number 8, Charlotte Amelie East might seem like just another busy suburb, but delve a little deeper, and you'll find a history tinged with dark tales of piracy. The hidden coves around here were once the favored hideouts of notorious pirates, and some believe that their plundered treasures, and spirits, still remain hidden beneath the town. Number 7 brings us to Cruise Bay, where the beauty of the natural landscape contrasts sharply with the grim story of the Lady of the Lagoon. According to local folklore, a woman roams the shores, eternally searching for her lost lover, leading unsuspecting wanderers astray never to be seen again. At 6, we explore the isolated enclave of Annaberg. Here, the ruins of old sugar plantations are the setting for whispered stories of revolt and betrayal among enslaved workers, whose spirits are said to linger, restless and moaning with the breeze. Halfway through at number 5 is the peaceful town of Red Hook. But don't let its tranquility fool you. Beneath the calm waters, divers have reported seeing the eerie remains of an old shipwreck where they feel an unsettling presence, as if the past refuses to be forgotten. Number 4 on our list is Christianstead. While known for its vibrant festivals, there's a darker side to this town. Hidden tunnels beneath the streets are rumored to have been used for smuggling and worse. Echoes of hurried footsteps are often heard, but the source is never seen. As we reach the top three, the air grows colder with the chilling history of Water Island. At number three, this less populated island is rumored to be home to the spectral White Lady, a figure seen wandering the hills, her mournful wails disturbing the silent nights. Number two takes us to the eerie town of Estate Thomas. Local legend tells of a vengeful spirit, the keeper of the night, who guards the town's old estates, punishing those who dare trespass after sunset with frightful visions. Finally at number one, the most disturbing of all, is the secluded town of Bordeaux. Here the dense forests are said to be alive with the spirits of ancient warriors. Hikers report inexplicable sounds and sights, from ghostly war cries to fleeting shadows, that challenge the bravest of souls. In conclusion, the Virgin Islands, while a paradise to many, holds layers of history that whisper tales of the supernatural and the unexplained. These towns, each with their own eerie legends, invite the curious and the brave to explore what lies beneath their picturesque exteriors. What truths might these haunting stories be guarding? And what might they reveal about the darker sides of human history and nature itself?